What is going on everyone? Welcome to Six Flags Great America. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, in fact, a full 24 hours. We were here yesterday, but that was my first time since 2016. We just got off of Goliath. That was our fourth ride on it. And, uh, you know, it's been great to get back on this RMC, especially since uh, the wait times haven't been that bad today. So even though it is during Fright Fest. So, John Mike, Hello. you and I just got a back row ride on that thing. How was it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so good. Like, there's so much packed. It's such a like compact. Whoa! Jump scare. No, that's such a jump scare. Yeah, we're about uh, to go through the, through this maze. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, amazing ride. Should we? Like, no, no. Let's go through it. Go through it. I, yeah, let's go through it. Oh, whoa, dude! You almost got chopped. Wow. Man, I'm pretty good. Scared. So one thing I was noting was that at Six Flags Great America, all of the scare zones are really short but there's a lot more of them. So it's almost like they chose to have more scare zones instead of having longer scare zones. So that was just an observation. It's been a pretty relaxed day here at Six Flags Great America uh, because it was actually uh, pretty kind of rainy this morning. Like it was yeah. just a light drizzle, but the forecast was saying that it's just going to be so much rain and like, oh, it's going to be all this. So people just stayed away. So now that Fright Fest is starting, as you can see, the sun is going down. So it has gotten busier. But this morning we were able to get on so many different attractions, oh, yeah. which was awesome. Um, one of the things that we've had a lot of fun doing, do you want to explain, oh my gosh, do you want to try and explain the teacups? Oh, okay, so there's a ride here called Terror Twister 2, which is just a teacups ride during the normal summer operating season, but for Fright Fest, what they do is they enclose the building and they use lights, EDM, fog, it's like a club. Yeah. Like if you go to a club, like, well, I yeah, exactly. music, dancing, and it's really, really fun. Oh my God. <laughs> I've collected faces for my face. Oh my gosh. My oh my gosh. Hello. Do you guys like Terror Twister 2? <laughs> So That's you, what happens when you spin too fast. You I know, out. I know. Oh my gosh. Wow, all right. So you are so dedicated to this that you have gloves that you're wearing. You'll, you have gloves to get a better grip. Yes, can we please yeah. okay. see yes. see the master of this? Because you're obviously pretty good at uh, spinning so these I things. That ride, I put <laughs> these on because it gives you a better grip on the wheel when you spin it. And so it, causes, it like allows you to spin it faster than you normally would if you weren't like wearing gloves. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. so we did it yesterday yes. after we did a uh, Max Force for the first time. Amazing. So we didn't catch it on camera, but we walked off so dizzy. It was like- You were out of it for like 30 minutes. I had a headache for so long. Oh my gosh. Wow, they are scared. We've gone through two scare zones and we're about to enter a third one. Notice each one is so small. Like, it's just so interesting how this park does their Fright Fest. We aren't doing any of the mazes, but I mean, as we're going through these scare zones, like, it's very, it's just a very interesting way of doing things. So, it's, I like it. Ooh, ooh. They're so loud. One of, the, one of them got me good yesterday. Yes, they did. Yeah. So, uh, What's kind of cool is last time I was here, I missed out on V2 and Joker didn't even exist. So uh, I, I finally got these credits. They were about what I expected. I'm not the biggest free spin fan, but uh, vertical velocity, pretty solid, fun addition. Batman, I want to talk about Batman. Yeah, so the, OG the, the original. The OG so Batman. one of the things that we've been talking about with this ride is because it was the original, how they had to build it. Do you want to kind of yeah, explain? Sure. Should we walk over there? Yeah, can we, we got a show what this is because this absolutely affects even if no. you haven't done this batman it applies to every single batman clone out there there's something that we noticed today and it is so really cool actually told by um an employee that works at the park who told us this and i never have noticed this i've been coming here my whole life i've never noticed a small detail but um uh this is the og batman opened in 1992 and when they built the ride it was specifically designed to fit in this space at great america and right here there's um a restroom building they had to build around it they had to build around the restroom six flags is like we don't want to get rid of this restroom find a way to make it fit and go over the uh, bathroom so that's why um you can see how low to the ground or yeah the roof this goes and if you look at other Batmans like the reason why it's so high off the ground is because of this bathroom exactly so if you look at like over Georgia's yes. it's so much elevated so here it makes more sense because there's the bathroom there's like trees and all right stuff. and so all of these supports holding up uh, Batman are a frame so they they slant 
except for one support over here. It is completely vertical because they had to, uh, they couldn't make it slanted because it would hit the restroom. So I th it's, it's this one. It's this one, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So look at the support on the left. It, it makes a complete 90 degree angle while the rest are slanted. It's, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle. There it goes. So all of them are slanted except for this one that is completely vertical. vertical. And, and because of this bathroom, yeah. they didn't want to have a support going into the bathroom or yeah. anything like that. So, so if you ride any Batman clone across the world, uh, across the world, I just did one in Japan. That one has it too. There's one support on the lift hill that is completely vertical. So now you know. So go Fun next time you. I know it's so nerdy, but seriously, <laughs> next time you go ride Batman, look, and no matter where it is, go look for that one support. It's so weird. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for this vlog here at Six Flags Great America. We've been having an awesome time. Uh, it's it's been great to get back here, hanging out with some great people. We had a meet up earlier. Got to meet a bunch of fans. It was so much fun. So, thank you guys for watching this. We'll see you in the next vlog.